today, this is the Fig Tree um, and Company Schoolhouse sponsored by Orafell. We're going to be talking about my new fabrics collection and designs and some of the wonderful things that we're doing with Orafell with the threads. Um, our brand new collection is called Aloha Girl and we've gone a little bit brighter and a little bit different this time. We uh, spent a week in Hawaii this week and uh, this year and it really inspired a slightly different color palette for us. As always, if you follow Fig Tree Collections, one grouping of, of colors always melds slightly into the next one so that you can mix them in the store. So we always try and bring in a few extra fabrics that, you, that didn't exist beforehand, but keep a bunch of them so that they meld you know, from fall to spring. Um, this is what it looks like. It's got a couple of new colors that we've never used in there and some that we brought back from some of our other collections. I think our first quilt that we're going to show you is whichever one needs real, whichever one of them wins the challenge. So, <laughs> Allison wins. These are my friends Allison and Kate Spade. I'm sure you know Kate and my good friend Allison. This is called Starfish and it's a jelly roll quilt. The whole thing is done with a jelly roll and a charm pack. So basically all of those side pieces are done with jelly rolls and then you basically need that one, that charm pack piece for the center. Um, so it was a super easy quilt to make, no half square triangles, it's all the what I call the sew and flip method. You guys know what I'm talking about when I say that, you basically take a rectangle of fabric or a square and you put another square on top of it and sew it at a, at a diagonal and flip out. It is by far my most favorite quilting method to use, or piecing method, because one, you almost always get accurate points. If you have a piece in the back, it's almost like foundation piecing, you, you're much more likely to cut a piece accurate than you are to sew a piece accurate, right? Mm -hmm. If you've cut it at two and a half by three and a half, it's most likely going to be two and a half by three and a half, right? So if you put another piece of fabric on top of it and sew it a diagonal and flip that piece out to make the appearance of a triangle, you still have the exact same size that you want. We trim out some of those back pieces for bulk. And I do recognize, and people ask me this question all the time, but I do recognize that there's a little bit of fabric waste. But it's so worth it for me when all of the points match without any problem and the pieces are all the way they're supposed to be and they, you get to the end of the block and it's all the size that you want it to be. So I, I swear by that. I do use, you know, quarter square triangles and half square triangles sometimes, but only if I have to. If not, I always do the sew and flip. So that was that one with the jelly roll. And this is my new, that's probably my favorite quote this time around. It's called Sea Anemone. These are all kind of named after, you know, it's a Hawaiian theme big time. And this is also done, there's also some serious sewing and flipping going on in this quilt. So this is basically a set of three strips back there. And then it has the square that you've sewn and flipped and sewn and flipped. And this quilt and the one before it have all been done with the cream. Um, the cream thread, and once we start getting into some of the color ones, I'll show you some of the ones where we have played with some of the other oracle threads in there. Not that skinny girls. Yeah. Um, one, our next quote, which we did, we did three versions of the same one, and I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with the the Hawaiian piecing that they do. They call them bread, the most popular pattern is called breadfruit, and it has like those little end pieces. Well, the thought of applicating all of those would pretty much just put me over the edge. So we figured out a way. I'll hold one. Um, we figured out a way to do them to make them look that way, but to have them pieced. And so this is basically three versions of the exact same quilt, and we call it breadfruit. Um, and they're basically meant to look like Hawaiian applique without having any Hawaiian applique in them. And this one is called. Oh yes, I just told you that breadfruit. <laughs> That's three of them in different. We're starting to bring in, so this is all new in the in the fabric, except for this one we started bringing in some Moda solids to mix in with our collections. The ones that we love the most, we kind of put them in there for a little extra pop. So those are those three. Oh, you know what, actually, I meant to show you. On this one, we use the blue, the royal blue color and the horophyll in our collection, basically so that we you can see it a lot better on the back than you can on the front. Um, but it's just been a great opportunity, I think, to be quite honest, before I started working with Orofil, I used their, the neutral Orofils for about 10 years, and that's it. Just neutral. I had three different kinds of neutral, I almost always used the, I think it's the 2000, and that was it. I used it for everything. I wouldn't touch anything else. 
And then I got a fabric collection. I mean, I got a, a thread collection. And now I'm just thinking of ways to use those others. So bindings now can always have their own matching threads, because I have them. Um, quilting when possible, anything that I'm doing, I use a lot of those for the darker ones. I've just, I've loved having them. Um, it's, it's like a little candy box. You just kind of, you know, can't help yourself. Um, this is another one where we use some of the darker threads from the collection. And this is a new pattern called Mahalo, and it comes in two sizes. This is the charm pack size, and it takes two charm packs. And we have a layer cake size that so far only exists electronically, so it's not here. But it will be, so it'll come in a layer cake version also, which is about two-thirds big, you know, so it's about from here to here, more of a lap size quilt. But again, can we see on the back? Well, we can see the white thread. Um, but we also use the blue in all of the different parts that are the, the blue, and then the, the cream in the pieces where I wanted it to show cream. But again, playing with those, and then use the, the oracle thread again on the binding to bring that in there. Um, where you show? So what, those are kind of those are our, our new four new big patterns, and we have some other goodies to show you too. I think. Oh, question. Yes. The, um, your machine quilting. Is yes. It long arm thread? Yes. Is it cotton? Is the the thread cotton? Yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. Is that new? Is that a new item? Are they coming on school? The big oh, right there? I don't know. There are also cones. The cones also cones. Yes. Um, I was going to say that's a good question, but I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, in the last year, I'm sure you've noticed that there is, you know a craze or a trend in the industry for a couple different things. I do think that thread collections and adding in threads into your sales is one of those trends. You can kind of see it, you know, it's it started and then it has grown and it's growing and it doesn't look to be stopping. And there's all kinds of fun little projects that people are doing with that. I think as a store, bringing in threads into your sales is just, it's kind of a natural, you know, whether wherever your thread case is, but to have that and as a way of trying to help people to match the colors to the fabrics that they're getting, or a flow for snakes that's so easy for you because they have all these wonderful little collections. So our big one that I've been talking about is this one. It's kind of got all my my yummy favorite fig tree colors in it that melds with almost all of our, our fabrics. Um, we also did, and this is the one we'll be giving one of these away at the end of the schoolhouse. Or Oracle will be giving away one of those in the schoolhouse. We also did one of these little mini collections with them, which is out with our fabric collection that's in stores now, Somerset. And in the little in the little box is not only all the threads that go with it, but a little mini charm. I'm pointing up here to the little mini charm that goes with it, and then there's a pattern in there for this. So it's kind of like a special little kit. It's got everything that you need, other than you need to add cream binding and you need to add back into that. But if you were to um, come to the booth or even after the schoolhouse, look at, we use almost every one of the threads in the quilting on there. So we've got, there's some of it in there as the green, some down here, there's aqua running up here, there's orange running across there. So again, it was an opportunity for us to say, hey, we have all these great colors that match our fabrics, let's figure out ways to use them. The one thing I wanted to say about this is, because since this is in stock, available for United Notions right now, um, they're perfect gifts. They're per I've had so many people talk to me about getting these for their girlfriends, for Christmas, for anything. It's a perfect if you're doing some kind of a promotion. We do this huge 12 days of Christmas sale that we do in between Thanksgiving, and which those would become like crazy cakes, you know, popular too. But So we're for sure going to have a thread day on our sale. But it's just, there's all kinds of ways that you can really try to push these in the stores for, for gifts. They're just, they're at a good price point for gifts. And this one, actually, in the last, like, in the last week and a half, I've had several customers who have gone in on these for presents for someone really special. They're a little bit higher in the price point, obviously. Um, but again, it's something that a lot of people, if you really love someone, right, they wouldn't buy it for them. I mean, it's really hard to get a, a, a gift. They wouldn't get it necessarily for themselves, but, you know. So again, and that's a nice thing to have a couple of those in the store. Um, and see if you can encourage them to get them as presents. So those were the those two yummies. The other trend, so I think whereas I've seen definitely the, the thread and the thread collections, I would definitely at this point call them a trend in our industry. Another one that I think is definitely everywhere is mini quilts. 
Now, many quilts started, you know, in the 1800s. You know, there have been many quilts that have been going on forever, and doll quilts, and little miniatures, and paper pieces. But I think something has changed in the last year, year and a half, where people have realized that in between the larger projects, they want to be working on something little. Right? And that's why I've become completely addicted to them. We have like 10 or 11 of them now. These are the three newest ones. This is in all of our, our miniature versions of big quilts that we've done. So this is our mini stems. We have a large pattern called stems, but this is the miniature version of it. And this is a super simple one to do, again, with that sewing flip that there's no triangles in it. You sew and you flip. And this is a miniature version of our lollipops pattern. And again, there's just something, you know, in fact, I saw there was a commercial for Make It Mini. I can't even, it was for food. Some food, oh, chicken pot pies the other day. But I'm telling you, Making It Mini is just, it's a thing right now in all industries. Um, this is our newest fabric collection, a little hot girl. And then we added another Moda Bella solid there to the back to kind of help it pop. That's the second one. And this is our last third one of, this is probably one of our most popular patterns in the large side. Painted ladies is our butterflies. And we did that again with, um, as a miniature version of it. It's called Mini Painted Ladies. And this is one of the print, the, we've got the Hawaii, since it's a Hawaiian line, we reproduced a vintage Hawaiian print. That's just a, one of those on there. So those are the three new minis. We've brought all of our other minis with us if you want to come by the booth and, and check them out.